I'm Whitney and I'm back today with my mom and uh, you may remember last year I did a tutorial for a pillow sham that was a log cabin style quilt block for the front and it was actually based off of a quilt that my mom was making for Peyton at the time and the quilt is finished so I thought I would invite my mom on today and uh, let her talk a little bit about how she actually uh, made the quilt and put it all together and everything like that so here's my mom with uh, her lovely masterpiece. Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, okay, it's a traditional log cabin block. I guess it's traditional even though mm -hmm. uh, the center usually would be about one to two inch square. Uh, red sometimes, right? Yeah, usually red. Mm -hmm. The center of the home. But I used an eight inch square to uh, mainly to make use of the fabric. We like our little kid fabric, so mm -hmm. we... we uh, I decided to use that with Peyton's quilt and, and you fussy cut it right to right. get the best out right. of the fabric. I did yeah. uh, to show the pictures and then I added uh, these would be one and a half inch cut strips but they finished to one inch and I made two rounds mm -hmm. same color on two sides to complete that block and here's the completed block mm -hmm. right and here. And then there's a 12 total uh, right? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and have uh, four, three by four, mm -hmm. three across, four down. And then uh, let's show them the other side. Oh, yeah. Mom was inspired to do, we had enough of these uh, little kid prints to do kind of one representing each month. So we so, have yeah. like calendar, winter. Calendar order. Yes, yeah, so there's uh, like January, January February. February, March, and so on to make an entire year's worth of um, pictures. So that was pretty neat. Mm -hmm. uh, I've collected these for a long time. Both of us have yeah. the, the little kid prints, we call them. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and then I uh, quilted it just with a uh, walking foot on a regular sewing machine, just some squares mm -hmm. um, around here. And then each one of the longs is quilted, stitch in the ditch. Mm -hmm. Around there, yeah, you, just and on a regular sewing machine, like yeah. anyone can do, right? And yeah, you actually, said it's a hey, special foot, uh, walking foot, yes. walking foot, yes, that makes it easier. Uh, the fabric doesn't creep on you as much, mm -hmm. and then it's got a piece binding, just using the leftovers. Uh, I sewed just a bunch <laughs> of strips together, uh, mm -hmm. and it's not biased; it's just cut on the straight of grain, which is totally fine uh, since it's not curves, right? right yeah, right. Uh, and then she made this cute little label to go on the back with her regular sewing machine yeah. again. Um, yeah, because this is for my granddaughter, so it has yeah. a nice label on it, just with a machine that that makes letters. It, it's yeah, it just has machine. the specialty stitches. Yeah. And then I hand stitched that on, and it's uh, caught in the binding right here, so it shouldn't come off. Mm -hmm. Should be baby proof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. important. She machine stitched the binding right. on it. Um, so the stitching is completely visible, but she did that because it was a gift for a one-year-old. Yeah. And so you never know, um, they might sit there and kind of pick at it. And so you want to make sure yeah. it's really durable. Yeah, it's supposed to, it should last yeah. her a long time. Yeah, and, but and, it's so cute. Yeah. Uh, some of these fabrics actually um, came from one of my viewers. Um, a, a few of these uh, did. Yeah, um, some of the uh, the yellows the ones and some the of the purples and yeah. stuff. So I thought that was really yeah. cool that a yeah, viewer so sent nice. some of these, yeah. and then my mom was able to incorporate them into. A, they sent them while I was pregnant yeah. with Peyton, and got to use them for a quilt for Peyton. So that was neat. Yeah. And so. uh, she like she really likes it, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. She loves this, <laughs> um, and she knew immediately what it was for, like when mom gave it to her and stuff. So she likes. She gets it and she puts it on her lap and stuff. So it's, yeah. it's really cute. Yeah. So is there anything else about it that we um, need to cover? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, except I did, uh, this is just me, but I planned uh, the colors of the logs are usually found in the the piece right here right. Or that coordinates. And that's just, you know, mm -hmm. how I did it instead of going random. Yep. And then uh, if you want to click in the information icon in the upper corner of the screen, I will have the tutorial linked where I did the pillow sham that was completely inspired by this quilt project, if you want to see that. Um, so I guess that's it for today, it. and we'll see you all again soon. Okay. Bye. Bye.